Welcome to Wine Vault TV, New Zealand's most passionate wine program. I'm your host, Jason Bryant, and we've got a couple of uh, little cheekies. The um, Cape Campbell 08 Chardonnay from Marlborough, and also we're going to do the, the Maven Pinot Noir 07 from Marlborough as well. Cape Campbell, uh, I've met um, Lucy on Twitter, so was, there's a lot of Twitter connections on this, you'll probably uh, be guessing by now. Oh, so I get it. It's quite a tight, light nose, but you do get that kind of mealy, oaty kind of character. Almost a kind of bit of brioche, sugary brioche. There's almost a kind of a honey, kind of sugary character going on here. Now the Mike, uh, the winemaker Matt Thompson makes a lot of wine for quite a few people. Um, is making Cape Campbell wines. He's a pretty talented winemaker. But I'm not so sure he's got it right on here. For me, uh, Marlborough is not really synonymous with uh, Chardonnay. It's more Pinot Noir and Syrah of all things and Sauvignon Blanc, obviously. Um, now, I've yet to be really, really blown away by a Marlborough Chardonnay. So I'm probably going to score that kind of early 80s, um, 82 points. It doesn't rock my socks, but it's not offensive either. It'd be an ideal um, Sunday afternoon roast chicken kind of wine. The next one is a Maven 07 Pinot Noir. And this is made by Mike Just from Clay Ridge Wines, and I've got a lot of respect. They're one of the few wineries that are doing Pinot Blanc right now. You almost get a bit of a dirty kind of character on there. You get that kind of brown element that John Campbell was talking about, the, a bit of kind of, almost a bit of coca, a bit of earthy kind of character on the nose. And then right at the back, you get your kind of primary fruit, kind of black currants, bit of uh, blackberry, bit of strawberry as well. And also a bit of kind of candy fruit as well. We get this lovely kind of coating. A bit of sweetness there, but um, I'm presuming that's kind of fruit sweetness. You get this lovely kind of coating that I'm quite digging right now. It's um, it's almost a bit dirty as well, which gives it another kind of added kind of interest for me. It's not your just generic Pinot from Marlborough or from anywhere in that matter. It's um it's got a real high interest level there. It's almost kind of good for me with it almost being Martinborough in in fruit and style. One of the things I asked um, earlier, and I've written something on, is kind of if wine were a fabric, what would each wine be? Kind of like for me, Marlborough Sau uh, Sauvignon or Sauvignon in general would be kind of that linen, dirty, kind of shirty, sweaty, rolling in the grass kind of fabric. Pinot has always reminded me of velvet, and this does exactly that. Maybe a bit of velvet that's been worn kind of round in the mud a bit, but. It's definitely going to give us that velvety kind of texture and that character on the nose. So, um, what would your, what would you describe wine as? Just send me a, a kind of email below and um, and we'll discuss it. Anyway, until next time, I'll catch you later.